which means that nothing can ever happen ever again in the universe, ever. How does the universe end? Do we freeze to death or burn to death? Whew, that's a very good question. Uh, I would probably answer in two different ways. So if you mean how is the universe itself going to end, number one, we don't know the answer. Um, we have some good candidates, and it seems likely that our universe, the one thing we do know right now about our universe is that it's expanding, which means that everything in all directions is moving away from everything else. And the farther you get away from us, things are moving away from us at very, much higher speed, at very, very high speeds, very fast speeds. And so we know that everything in the universe is moving apart from each other. Everything is expanding. And as far as we know right now, this is going to continue. And in fact, it's going to speed up indefinitely. So we know right now, as far as we understand, the universe will continue to expand forever. And so the short answer to this question is that likely our universe will continue to, continue to expand indefinitely. And eventually some far, 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 far future, you know, not even like our, we can't even wrap our brains around it, you know. 10 to the power 60 years, 10 to the power 100 years, 10 to the power 10 to the power 1000 years, something like that. Eventually, somewhere along this timeline, everything in the universe will eventually decay. So, you know, if you if you feel bad about, you know, for example, getting old, it's like, oh, my body is, you know, deteriorating. It's like, don't worry, everything in the universe is going to eventually decay, not just your body, not just planets and stars, but individual protons themselves will eventually just get bleh. And they'll turn into like just kind of raw energy. And eventually the universe will be completely dominated by black holes. And the black, and again, black holes don't care about us at all. And these black holes will sit there for a very long time until eventually even black holes will evaporate. They will give up all their stuff and there'll be nothing in the universe. It will just be kind of a, a, a fuzz soup of, of kind of energy. And eventually it will reach what we refer it seems that it will eventually reach what we refer to as a kind of a heat death meaning the sort of meaning that the universe will attain a state of nearly maximum entropy you don't need to know anything about it. it's basically a state of disorder basically completely disordered chaotic universe and nearly absolute zero temperature which means that nothing can ever happen ever again in the universe ever and it will stay that way probably for eternity are we going to go back in time can we go back in time is that going to happen Short answer, probably not. Um, it seems right now with the kind of theoretical limitations that we have within, you know, special relativity and general relativity and these kinds of things, we it seems likely that we'll probably never be able to do backwards time travel. Um, I, I'm happy to be proven wrong, but the short answer is that we might be able to at some point be able to travel into the future, far future, but traveling backward in time seems to be less likely. And there's a lot of reasons for that. One of them is mathematical. Again, at the end of the day, we have this thing we have these mathematical rules that are part of relativity. It seems as though it's probably not likely for us to have uh, so-called closed time-like curves. It, I mean, it, it, I'd be happy to prove, be proven wrong, but we don't have any evidence that that's really possible. Forward time travel could be possible, but backward might be impossible. Why would backward be mo not possible, but forward be possible? Like what's the... You can think of it in the sense that moving forward into space, there's a lot more possibilities that we have because the future is not really, you know, we haven't lived the future yet. Because the past has a particular has a particular set of strictures on it that have already existed, it's harder for us to find a kind of physical way that you could ever go backwards in time. I think I kind of get it, right? We can go forward because we don't know what the path is, but we can't go backward because we can't go backward on a specific path. It's a rough way of thinking about it, but yes. However, Another reason to answer, another way that I would answer your question is that it also seems that if you can find closed time-like curves, which means if you could find a way to travel backwards in time, it might take such extreme gravitational conditions, such as those that are only found in the middle of a black hole, that it would probably just rip your body apart.